Hello, I'm Miss Andrea with Everett Public Library. Welcome to Toddler Storytime. Yay! Now we're going to start with our welcome song. And we have some sign language that we're going to use. So first we say hello by tapping your head and saying hello. Hello. Will you do that with me? Hello. Hello. And then we're going to use the sign for friends. You have two fingers and you wrap them around each other. Can you do that? Friends. Nice. It's like two friends giving each other a hug. All right. It's time. You point to your wrist or to your watch. It's time. Now the sign language for saying things is the words are coming out of your mouth to say hello. Will you sing with me? There we go. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. <laughs> One more time? All right. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. <laughs> now I was talking to my sister the other day on the telephone. And in the background, I could hear her chickens. So I said, oh, send me a picture. So she sent me a picture of her chickens. Now, when I was planning today's story time, I found the book. And it's called Little Red Hen. But don't those chickens look very similar? <laughs> so I thought... We're going to do a chicken story time today. Yay! So first we're going to start with a rhyme. And you're going to have five eggs. One, two, three, four, five. Five eggs and five eggs. One, two, three, four, five. That makes ten. Sitting on top is a mother hen. Bok, 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 bok. Crackle, crackle, crackle. What do I see? Ten little chicks, as fuzzy as can be. Cheep, 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 cheep. Will you do that rhyme with me? Five eggs and five eggs. That makes ten. Sitting on top is Mother Hen. Boop, 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 boop. <gasps> crackle, crackle, crackle. What do I see? Ten little chicks, as cute as can be. Cheep, 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 cheep. <laughs> All right, we're going to read The Little Red Hen by Barry Downard. I'm going to use the document camera so that you can see the pictures. Here we go. The Little Red Hen, illustrated by Barry Downard. Thank you, Simon & Schuster, for allowing us to share this book today. This book is dedicated to all animals everywhere. Love them, respect them, and care for them. After all, animals are people too. Once upon a time, there was a little red hen who lived in a barnyard along with a duck, a pig, and a cat. <laughs> One day, the little red hen found some grain of wheat. Look, look, she clucked. Who wants to help me plant this wheat? Not I, said the duck. <laughs> not I, said the pig. Mm, not I, said the cat. Then I will plant it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. The wheat grew tall and golden. A little red hen knew it was ready to be cut. Who will help me cut the wheat? she asked. Quack, quack, not I, said the duck. <laughs> not I, said the pig. <sighs> not I, said the cat. Then I will cut it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. Now, said the little red hen, it's time to take this wheat to the miller, who will grind it into flour. Who will help me take the wheat to the mill? Quack, quack, quack. 
Not I, said the duck. <laughs> Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the cat. <sighs> then I will take it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. The miller ground the wheat into fine white flour and put in a sack for little red hen. When she returned to the barnyard, the little red hen asked, Who will help me make this flour into dough? Not I, said the duck, the pig, and the cat all at once. Then I will make the dough myself, said little red hen. And she did. When the dough was ready for baking in the oven, the little red hen asked, Who will help me bake the bread? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the pig. No, not I, said the cat. Then I will bake it all myself, the little red hen. And she did. Soon, the white dough turned into bread. It was a delicious golden color and ready to be eaten. As she took it from the oven, the little red hen asked, Well, who will help me eat this warm, fresh bread? I will, quack, 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 quack the duck. I will, <laughs> oink the pig. I will, meow the cat. No, you won't, said the little red hen. You wouldn't help me plant the seeds. You wouldn't help me cut the wheat. You wouldn't help me go to the miller. You wouldn't help me make the dough, and you wouldn't help me bake the bread. Now I will eat this bread all by myself. And she did. The Little Red Hen, illustrated by Barry Downard. <laughs> that was such a fun story. Now, were you surprised that none of those other animals would help the hen? And doesn't that bread look delicious? Yum. <laughs> I bet if you were there, you would have helped the, the Little Red Hen. Right? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> so the next song we're going to do is to the tune of the wheels on the bus. We're going to have chicks, chip, chip, chip in the yard, chip, 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 a hen in the coop, cluck, 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 and a rooster on the fence, cock a doo doo doo, all around the farm. So your chicks, the chicks in the yard go cheap. Cheep, 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 cheep. The chicks in the yard go cheep, 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 all through the yard. Okay, now the hens are going to cluck in the coop. The hens in the coop go cluck, 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 cluck. The hens in the yard go cluck, 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 all through the farm. All right, now we have the rooster on the fence. The rooster on the fence goes cock a doodle doo, cock a doodle doo, cock a doodle doo. The rooster on the fence goes cock a doodle doo, all through the farm. <laughs> Thank you for coming and playing with me today. Now you know whenever we're done playing, we need to wash our hands. Do you remember our washing our hands song? We're gonna wash the tops and the bottoms. Wash the tops and the bottoms. In between, we're going to lace our fingers. We're going to wash all those germs from in between our fingers. Very nice. Then we're going to rub them all together. Rub them all together. Don't forget your wrist. Rub them all together. They're almost clean. Then we're going to scrub our knuckles. There's our knuckles. Let's scrub them. And the other side. Scrub your knuckles. And your thumb. There you go underneath their fingernails. So we have our fingernails right here. Let's scrub underneath our fingernails. There we go. And now we're done. The tune is Farajaka and here we go. <coughs> Excuse me, I just got a little... Here we go. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. 
Rub them all together, rub them all together. Almost clean, almost clean. Scrub those knuckles, scrub those knuckles. And your thumb, and your thumb. Underneath your fingernails, underneath your fingernails. Now you're done, now you're done. Yay! Now, when I say goodbye, I wave with this hand. Sometimes I wave with this hand. I always clap my hands for all my friends. And if I want to be really cute, I wave with both hands. This is the far the tune is Farmer and the Dell. Are you ready? We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. One more time. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. That's you. We wave goodbye like this. Thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you in the library soon, and I'll see you next week for story time. Bye, friends.